this is Glen Highland, which is a Border Collie Sanctuary and Rescue, um, and it's 20 acres. And it's nice and quiet and rural, and that's the idea because it's um, a senior sanctuary. Ready? Boy, Mackie Mac. Good boy. Good boy, Mac. Good boy, Mac. We started in upstate New York on 175 acres and had 60 dogs on the property. It was huge. Um, and 3,000 dogs came through my hands, border collies, just border collies, to find new homes. And they came from all over the U.S. and the Northeast. So for the last actually 25 years, that's all we have done. Um, my husband and I started it. We've done rescue. That's what we do full time. And then we decided to downsize and just focus on our seniors. Um, it's very hard for rescues to cover this many seniors because of the costs, as well as the, um, uh, it just takes a lot of resources and the dogs often have a short lifespan. So it's hard to mix them with young dogs because it's too much. So you want to give them something that's customized to kind of a quieter life, that's stimulating but not too much, and you can often give them more time. And so we get a lot of dogs where people have died um, or they have somebody's ill and the family doesn't want the dog. And so we take the dogs in and you're going to meet a bunch of them with their stories. It's like a, a little bit, uh, you know, it's hospice care because they're here, most of them, till they pass. Um, and they have enough medical situations that it really can't be resolved. Most people don't want a dog that's incontinent. Most people don't want a dog that has cancer. You know, if it's your dog and you already live with the dog and they get sick, that's one thing. But if you go out to adopt a dog who might only live six months, people don't really sign up for that. It takes a very special person to sign up for that, is another way to say it. So when these dogs come in, we um, completely check them out, vet-wise, very, very thorough. And if they're sick, we don't send them out. They stay with us. So this year, 2020, I should say, 2020? 2021, we've had one adoption. So we're not here to, it's not an adoption agency. It can be if a dog is healthy, but basically it's a sanctuary.